Welcome back to another BFR. I promise the, the last episode of this, the history series of since the years since I've been alive is coming up next. Um, preseason game three, I need to get this over with since there is a game tomorrow night. Probably post this uh, today on Monday, post the history video on Tuesday, and post uh, the next BFR on Wednesday. I didn't get a chance to upload yesterday. Uh, preseason game three against the St. Louis Blues in St. Louis. Um, we got St. Louis announcers, which... At the start, I was kind of annoyed with, but as the game went on, I, I really started to like it. Uh, 6 p.m. game on September 28th, just same as the previous day. Score goes is 3-2 in overtime for St. Louis. Shots are 35-23 St. Louis. Uh, hits are 28-22 St. Louis. Faceoffs 28-27 St. Louis. Power play, Chicago goes 1-3. for three. St. Louis goes 0-2. for two. Morozik saves 31 out of 34. Mitch, uh, Mitchell Weeks is the backup. He doesn't get in. But Bennington saves 10 out of 12 before Ellis goes in and saves 11 out of 11. In terms of the lines, uh, on the first line you had Hall, Kurashev, and Ilya Mikheyev getting his debut. Second line was Matthew Savoie, or, yeah, no, not Matthew Savoie, Samuel Savoie, Andreas Athanasiu, and Pat Maroon. Third line was Slagger, Nazar, and Doc. So uh, Nazar and Doc, they're playing in back to back games. Um, Savoie, I believe, as well. And then Sanford is also Gutman and Sini, all that fourth line, all of them played in the previous game. Uh, D pairs, Vlasic and Phillips on the first, Korchinski and Crevier on the second, Allen and Delmasher on the third. So for Korchinski, he's played all three, Crevier and Allen on the back-to-back. -back. Some very, some guys getting tested heavy in this preseason already. Hall, for me, his has to be the player of the game for the Hawks. He made some plays that it looked, if he could stay healthy, then he could be a dynamic forward for this team. Uh, first period, there's a great save on a wrap early, but at, and then at 9:55, was, um, Pareko had the wrap around. At 9:55, Chicago goal to Philip Kershaw with his first of the season, and what a pass by Taylor Hall. Uh, he, he and Isaac Phillips get the assist, and it's one nothing. 8:59, then it's a St. Louis penalty to Lou for roughing. Um, the hit on Lou causes controversy am among St. Louis announcers. They were livid at the fact that that wasn't a penalty on Nazar, who cl they claimed it was a dangerous hit. They didn't show a replay, so I really couldn't tell, um, but, oh well. 7.55, it's a tip-in goal from Pat Maroon, of all people. That was not on my bingo card. First of the preseason from, once again, it's Taylor Hall and Philip Kershev. So, Hall and Kershev building some chemistry there. I feel like the third line is going to be Hall, Athanasiu, and Kershev, so that would be perfect if Hall and Kershev can get that chemistry going already. Uh, it's 2 nothing there, and then Athanasiu's already had chemistry with Kurashev in the past, so hopefully when they had the Kurashev Athanasiu radish line, we'll see. Another good play by Hall, though. 6.37, it's a Chicago penalty to Gutman for high sticking, which would be killed. Second period at 9.27, it's a Chicago and St. Louis penalty to Sanford, and uh, I believe it was Matthew Joseph for cross-checking. don't remember if it was Matthew or Pierre Oliver, since both Josephs are now in St. Louis. 1.54, Chicago penalty to Allen for holding, which would be killed. Uh, but it's 4-on-4 four four for a minute and 17, once at 137. Uh, it's a St. Louis penalty to Dvorsky for hooking. Um, then what does this say? What did I write here? Um, who is this Bayes? I'm not sure if I write... I really can't tell what I wrote here. Something Bayes. It looks like I wrote Bayes and Pe Pareko denied. Um, it's not Blay, because he's not in St. Louis. Um, is it? No, he's not. Um, but, uh, oh well. Um, anyway, third period. Uh, going into the third period, I made note that there were a lot of two-on-ones in this game, and uh, something to look for going forward. The Hawks need to work on that defensively. If they, I mean, they're not going to be good, but they need to work on that defensively. Third period at 15-16, St. Louis goal from the newcomer, Dylan Holloway, second of the preseason from Joseph and Joseph. So the Joseph brothers getting uh, some assist on the night. 13-34, it's a St. Louis penalty to Matthew Kessel for interference, which would be killed. 8-56, it's a St. Louis stuffing goal from Nathan Walker, the Australian. First of the season from Toropchenko and Letty, the former Blackhawk, to make it 2-2. Uh, after that, there was some. There was a good talk about rivalries with uh, the St. Louis announcers. Apparently, Robert Thomas, when asked about the biggest rivalries, he said Colorado, Minnesota, and um, did you say Dallas. I want to say it was those three. And the announcers were were dumbfounded. He didn't say Chicago because St. Louis and Chicago have always had that natural rivalry. Rivalry. Does St. Louis exist because of a business transaction between Chicago and Detroit back in the '60s? 
So it's kind of interesting that Thomas, I mean, they really have been good in Thomas's career, but hopefully these two teams can get back on the same timeline back in 2014, 2016, because that's when the rivalry was pretty good against these teams, when they were both very good. Um, uh, so yeah, tie game going into, going into overtime then. Holloway breaks, somehow doesn't score. Texier is saved. Saad is saved. Um, 149, St. Louis break to Dylan Holloway, and he scores a second of the game and third of the preseason. From Texier and Letty once again, so Nick Letty getting a couple of assists. Blues win 3-2 in overtime. Other notes about that game, the Blues pressured late in the third. The, the, the Hawks could not stop the onslaught. They, the Hawks had a really good first period. They opportunized on their chances. After that, they really could not get anything going. Um, Ellis played the third period. I'm, I guess a goal, goaltender up and coming for St. Louis. We'll see how he if he gets into any NHL games this year. Because I believe it's going to be Bennington and... Um, who is the backup for St. Louis now that I think about it? Anyway, because it was Huso a while back, and then last year it was... I'm, I'm blanking. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here so I can get to filming the second video of today. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I shall see you all in the next one. Have a good one.